Good evening, everyone. How is everybody doing? Um, want to go over some um, important things within this exercise in relation to what I was um, telling a few people um, that's in the course, um, of which I call "fruit in your own backyard." Um, it's basically, you know, um, bringing the awareness to you as far as uh, being in your city or in your state. <clears throat> you see other contractors from other states coming into your state or other contractors from other states coming into your city um, basically hiring someone the city's workers to work their contracts that's basically someone else picking fruit in your own backyard you know and um, many times it's because they're not you know if you're a contractor or if you're a government contractor you're not aware that um, someone is actually picking fruit in your own backyard. So basically I'm just going to show you um, how to go about doing that, how to go about identifying agencies that may be um, right there in your own backyard, right there in your city that's, you know, that's um, doing business. And um, it's a pretty quick exercise, not going to be long. But um, so let's go over here to Google Maps. Pretty simple exercise here. Okay, Google Maps. I've been over here looking for property in Mississippi. Uh, here we go. So let's go to, you're going to go over here to Google Maps, whatever, you know, in your city or whatever. I'm um, do one that I'm familiar with. Um, so we're looking for a Department of Veteran Affairs. I'm going to show you how some people get confused um, when they're looking at certain things. We're looking at the ones who's actually getting the money and who's actually cutting the checks, which is going to be... Um, the one with dot gov. Okay, we got Florida Department of Veteran of <coughs> Veteran. This is Florida Department of Veteran Nursing Home. Um, you click, let's click on this. Okay. When you go here and you see, this is one of the key things you want to look at. Um, like I was telling a few people, when you go there and you look at that web address, they have a web address there. If it don't say .gov, then it's not affiliated with the government. You know, uh, it may be a contractor to the government or whatever, but this, this is not who we're looking for. You know, you're looking for is the one that's going to say .gov. That's going to be your contact people. Um, Miami Veteran Center. Let's look at this. This one here don't even have a website. Well, yes, it do. There we go. Now this right here will be something that's affiliated with the government. So this is one. This would be one, the Miami Veterans Center, that you would target. You know, um, Miami got a. We supposed to have another one. Check this one out. Here. Let's see. Yeah, here's the other one right here. Um, Veteran Affairs Department, Miami.va.gov. Um, so when you go in, I mean, you can do them for any of them. Um, um, but this is just how to find, you know, um, fruit that's in your own backyard, you know, basically. Um, where you can actually see opportunities that you got that's right here. Um, let me see, let's go. Let's go to the uh, core engineer. Let's see if they. Can. Yeah. Okay, this conservation department. Let me go to this website and look and see.
Yeah, so this will be another one um, that you will be, you know, even with the Corps of Engineers. Once you go to the website, you're able to see, you know, um, um, what you're working with, you know. And, yeah, this is going to be one that you will be able to contact. You know, so that's contracting and disasters. Prime contractors. So these are prime contractors that they actually have. So vintage installation, subcontracting opportunity for Hurricane Ida, temporary roofing should be directly con contact the prime contractor's point of contact listed below. Yeah, so even if you wanted opportunities to come in as a subcontractor, shoot, these prime contractors are already are on the list with um, the Cor um, United States Army Corps of Engineers. Contracting and disasters. Yeah, so got the email address phone number for them if you're into that you know in the Miami area it doesn't you don't even have to be in the Miami area you know y'all know every year we get a hurricane so um, you want to be in the disaster cleanup you are if you are already registered in Sam's uh, then um, and he, even here to the right here they got on their system for awards management database but um, if you're already registered in Sam's and you follow my guideline then you're going to be on that list to be able to respond to um, natural disasters, you know, so they'll be able to pull you up anyway, send them over a capability statement, um, let them know that you exist. I'll send my capability statement to all three of these companies right here. There's the email right there. Just email them. Make sure they got your capability statement. Some break out, boom, they're going to be calling you. Um, not only them, FEMA going to be calling you too, you on being on that list, emailing you for sure. But yeah, this is how you go in and, and you know, finding the fruit that's in your own backyard. Um, you know, so you can basically have a, a way of, you know, um, and you don't have to be in your state. It can be anywhere. You know, you can go to any state and, and you know, get that, get information to be able to do that. Um, let's see. So that's the United that's the Great Orange Center here. Yeah, so here's the Biloxi VA Center. I think this is that hospital they got out there. Um, my friend Ed, he know about these people here. But for the people up there on the coast, sure, there's another, you know, they, they're going to be contracting out sending out contracts and stuff too you know um, you have to go to their websites get their contact information and once you get their contact information you can um, contact the uh, appropriate people that you would need in for as um, being able to get contracts with them local contracts with them you know um, yeah they got email addresses here yeah you can email them and find out who you will need to contact um, for presenting information to as far as um, contracts for that local area. That's fruit in your own backyard for up there, you know. But anyway, yeah, I promise you I won't um, keep you long on this little assignment right here. I just wanted to go in and show you um, if you know an agency that you're going to be trying to sell to, sell your service to or whatever, um, that's a quick way to find them in your own backyard. You know, and I hope you guys use this. Uh, I use this this little exercise a lot. Uh, it's pretty fun. You end up seeing some places that you didn't even know that was there. Seeing some agencies you didn't even know that was there. You know, and you can contact them, send them over your email them over your capability statement. You know, just like applying for a job. When you apply for a job, you're going and putting in the application, sending your resumes to different places. You know. Uh, you end up getting two or three calls for jobs. You be on got a job. People steady calling you for a job. This is the same way with these um, capability statements. You get your capability statements, sending them over to these different agencies. You'll be on one contract. Another contract will come through, offering for you. 
you know, these are for the no bid contracts, um, set aside, you know. But anyway, um, hope this was helpful for some of you. Um, you know, go and play around with it, you know, get familiar with it. And see you guys on the next exercise. Have a good day.